Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the rear O-ring on your dishwasher pump. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the dishwasher from the cabinets. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. So either unplug it or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. We'll also need to turn off and remove the inlet water supply, disconnect the drain, and allow ourselves enough slack that we can pull that dishwasher completely out of the cabinets. The last thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the two retaining straps at the top of the dishwasher that secure it to the bottom of your countertop. Now with the dishwasher removed from the cabinets, our next step will be to lay it on its side. So if there are any dishes inside of the dishwasher, they need to be removed. And you may also want to open the door up and remove the lower rack as well. And now we'll lay it on its side so that we can do the repair. Now with the dishwasher laying on its side, our next step will be to remove these two screws that secure that mounting clamp. Typically a number 20 Torx head screw. And you'll also want to have some towels handy to catch any water that may come out of this pump when we remove it. So slide the clamp off. Then we're simply going to lift that motor out of that opening, but you'll need to rock it back and forth a bit. And then pop it out. The O-rings are located on that housing. Simply roll them off and discard them. If need be, use a small flat blade screwdriver. Just be careful not to damage the housing. And then remove the old O-rings and discard them. Now next, we're just going to set that motor assembly out of the way. What we want to do is make sure that we clean the whole inside area of that housing to make sure that we have no buildup or debris that may impede a good seal with our new O-rings. Now next we'll make sure that we clean the grooves where the O-rings fit in, remove any debris that may be there, and inspect for any sharp edges. Then we'll install the new O-rings. We'll begin with the large one first. We're just going to roll that into place, make sure it fits into that groove. And then the smaller one, or the front one. Now if you were just planning on replacing one of the O-rings, we do suggest that you change them both at the same time. That way you'll ensure that you have no leaks. Now before we install that pump assembly back into the sump area, we'll want to moisten those O-rings and the inner surface just to make sure that they slide in easily and don't roll out of position. Then we put just a little mild detergent, liquid detergent on that to moisten those. And that should allow those to slide in a lot easier. So we'll position that pump into the opening. And then make sure it's seated firmly. Line it up so that it's flush across the bottom. We'll take our clamp and we're going to slide that into those grooves on either side of that housing. Now the ends will fit into two openings in the sump area. Push it firmly into place. There's a little locating tab that should fit into a small hole. Next we'll secure it with the two screws.
and now we're ready to stand the dishwasher back up. Now that we have the dishwasher pushed back into the cabinets, we can secure it to the bottom of our countertop. We'll reconnect the inlet water supply and the electrical supply, and our repair is complete. Thank <laughs> you.